Welcome back. It's now time for our cooking segment. This morning we have Carrie Snyder, a registered dietitian here this morning, and you're going to show us how to make um, roasted parsnips, carrots, and red onions. Yes. So what we're going to first need to do is start uh, uh, shredding our, carrots. or I guess peeling, I should say, peeling <laughs> your carrot. We don't need to shred it. So if you would, please of course. take the peeling off. And I'm going to go ahead. What we're wanting to do with these carrots is just cut them into about 10 inch strips, uh -huh. but then the larger pieces I like to kind of quarter mm -hmm. so that way they cook evenly. Okay. Okay. And so we'll just keep doing that. And then Riley's going to start in on a parsnip. And when you buy parsnips in the grocery store, uh, grocers put kind of this waxy, um, it, like if you take your nail to it, you yeah, can kind of feel it. Um, and they do that to help keep in the moisture. So I always peel them. Um, if you're getting them from a local, local farmer though, they all you won't. need to do is, you don't even need to peel them. All you need to do is wash them. Okay. Um, they won't have that waxy, that waxiness on them. So, but parsnips, people may not be too familiar with I was with just going to ask you about that. <laughs> um, I think I've had the frozen kind. Yeah, they, they're they very, um, kind of in the same family as carrots. They're a root vegetable. Mm -hmm. um, when they cook up, they're very, they have a wonderful flavor, but they're sweet. Um, just kind of like how a carrot, when it, when it roasts up, kind of brings out the natural sugars. Okay. Um, and that's why I think I really like roasting them. Um, Roasting them, so what you're wanting to do if you were to make this at home, first uh, turn on your oven to mm -hmm. about 425. So it'll be cooked at a pretty high temperature, mm -hmm. which then you'll see at the end product, they're nice and caramelized. Okay. So just gonna cut these. And so the recipe says like two or about nine ounces. I weighed stuff at home. It's, it's about, three carrots the size Riley is peeled or about three parsnips this okay. size um, just so you know if you're making this at home okay. so all I'm gonna do is finish cutting these up and then we're gonna add some red onion mm -hmm. recipe calls for three quarters of a cup mm -hmm. that would be kind of similar to a medium onion mm -hmm or half of a large onion that I have here. Yeah. Now, does it specifically need to be the red onion? No, you could use um, like a Vidalia onion, a mm -hmm. yellow onion. I probably wouldn't use, <clears throat> in this recipe, I wouldn't use a white onion as okay. much. But, but this is a very easy recipe because all we're gonna do is after I get this finished cutting up, mm -hmm. We are going to add some balsamic vinegar and some a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. and some salt and pepper. So and obviously, that's all there is. And obviously, this is a side. What would you serve this with? I mean, this is a great recipe to have at Thanksgiving this year. Okay. So um, maybe in place of like uh, a sweet potato casserole mm -hmm. or something now, like is that. This, uh, is this diabetic friendly? Well, your, any of your root vegetables a lot of times are going to be a little bit higher in carbohydrates, but for a cup of parsnips, you get about seven grams of fiber. Okay. So, yes, um, for about a half serving of this, or a half cup, mm -hmm. I want to say it is a maybe about 30 grams of carbohydrates. We're going to have our nutrition uh, facts listed on the website. Okay. Um, and unfortunately, at the moment, I'm trying to remember exactly. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, parsnips are a little bit higher in carbohydrates. Okay. But, a little you said more that, carbohydrate but you rich. said this would be a perfect side dish for Thanksgiving yeah. in in substitution of what yeah. did you say? Uh, like a sweet potato casserole, okay. something you're wanting to do um, sweet. So all I'm going to do is take this onion mm -hmm. and kind of vertically slice it. It's um, like a, like one of the most gorgeous onions I've ever laid eyes on. Yeah, it's, it's like, like perfect. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> they <I've> colored everything. <laughs> Um, and all we're going to do is throw these on here. Just like that and move, just kind of this forward a little bit. But yeah, break them up a little bit. That way. Oh, it smells so good. I love you, onions. Riley. So if, if, mm -hmm. if, a, if a dish calls for onions or if, even if it doesn't, I will add onions to it. Okay. So. So, what, and so you're just going to, do you need to put anything on the baking sheet beforehand? No, no. you will not. And so I'm going to, it's about two teaspoons of uh, olive oil. Okay. So I'm going to do about that. Okay. And then a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. The onions really, oh, they smell I great. Smell, <laughs> seriously, I wish we had like smell-o-vision or something, but 
And you don't necessarily have to measure that out, but uh -huh. just kind of drizzle. Drizzle it all on top. Okay. We're going to toss this. I mean, you can do this all in a bowl if and you want. And then put it on the baking put sheet. It, that's fine. And, and what do we have here? We have just a quarter teaspoon of salt that I'm just sprinkling on. Okay. And then it calls for a black pepper. I use white pepper at home a lot because then um, my kids don't realize I put it on there. And it adds a flavor. <laughs> um, so I'm using a quarter cup of just uh, white pepper instead okay. of black pepper. And then all we're going to do is just, just toss it. Okay, mix it up a little bit. Yep. And then you're going to pop it in the oven yep. for how long? About 25 to 30 minutes. Oh, and then it's going to be nice and roasted. And, yep. Uh, I, I bet you the house. Yeah. Roasted carrots are my yeah. favorite. Maybe maybe toss it once halfway through. Okay. Um, but yeah, and you want to have kind of a big enough pan. Like this pan's almost, mm. almost too small because you want to try and get an even single layer. Okay. But yeah, okay. That, that works. Fantastic. And welcome Soldier. back if you're just joining us. We just made roasted parsnips, uh, carrots, and red onions, a perfect side dish to serve this Thanksgiving, courtesy of Carrie Snyder. She is our registered dietitian in the area. And honestly, this is, I just counted, it's seven ingredients to make this dish. So yeah, really very, quickly, very just simple. to recap what we did. So we had about three parsnips, three carrots that we peeled, chopped up into about two inch pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had Three fourths a cup or about half of a large onion that we ended up kind of slicing vertically. So it was in these nice strips that you kind of maybe do if you're making fajitas. And mm -hmm. then it's going to cook at 425 for um, 25 to 30 minutes. And then we did, we put a little bit of salt, a little bit of white pepper, some balsamic vinegar and olive oil. So mm -hmm. it's very simple. And you said that maybe halfway through while it's in the oven. Maybe yeah, kinda maybe just, just kind of toss it around. And but you yeah. want a big enough baking sheet to kind of make sure it's all spread yeah. out so it's not stacked on top of each other like yeah, that. Yeah, so I wouldn't look like, I wouldn't use like a cake pan or something okay. like that. Something okay. like more of a jelly roll pan. Yeah. And you know, once obviously it comes out, it looks beautiful. The colors are popping, perfect for the fall. And like you said, a perfect side dish uh, for Thanksgiving, even if you wanted to substitute it for another dish, correct? Right, yeah. Or just add it to mm -hmm. the other dishes you're yeah. already having. And it's, as you can see, I mean, <laughs> Riley can't stop <laughs> stuff in his face because it's that good. It smells wonderful, easy to make, mm -hmm. and uh, like you said, just the perfect alternative to add to your dish for Thanksgiving. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I mean, just go to our Facebook page for Northeast Missouri Health Council. We're at, this is Diabetes Month, mm -hmm. National Diabetes Month, so we have recipes and all kinds of information that we're going to be having on there this month. Okay, fantastic. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at ktvo.com. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Again, happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. We hope you have a fabulous weekend, and we'll see you right back here Monday morning at 5.30 a.m.